So here's a show where the main character is basically boobs. Boobs are everywhere in all sorts of shapes and sizes, as long as that means either big or bigger. There's literally a scene where shadows basically make it look like boobs are having a conversation. Ever wanted to see boobs as they fight to clean a blackboard? How about boobs as they play ping pong in a hot spring resort? Why not boobs as they work in a cafe bakery? Well, you'll get that and more. Clearly, by now you think this is all extreme partial nudity and fan service, and you'd be mostly right. It does have lots of fan service, and there's angles in this show that would just make you forget that characters have faces, uh, wonder how this angle could ever be done in real life, or if the characters are anything but just a chest. But somehow it actually manages to be a little wholesome. <laughs> there's a few romance subplots and the show flips between the lives of a few different groups of girls uh, who want to, you know, find love in titty town, and they're mostly portrayed in a nice way. Each episode is roughly four to seven minutes long, and nothing really plot-heavy happens uh, that will super distract you from the plot uh, they do show, which, I mean, what would you expect? Animation is fine at first, but somehow loses something as the series reaches the end of the second season. Uh, though, with the source being a manga, which is still in production, the art style used there is actually very unique. I wish they animated it in the same style, but maybe looking at monotone blue, red, or gray uh, might be uh, a little bit rough the entire time. In the end, it's somewhat short and uh, endearing, though this show definitely knows which audience it's targeting. Uh, that aside, this boob about boobs boobing along through life is, it, is not a bad watch, though I feel others may disagree for obvious reasons. That being boobs. Mm -hmm.